Hey everyone, this is Jenny and welcome back to my channel. Today guys, I wanted to kickstart 2020 with a new video and guys, I just flew back from Tokyo um, yesterday and I'm so excited to film this video so I'm doing it straight away just because I wanted to open some of the stuff already and I can't open it without filming this video first. So guys, here are some of the stuff that I hoarded from my Tokyo trip and there's a lot of stuff to cover here so I guess let's get started. The most common stuff that I usually buy whenever I visit Japan are eyeliners. You guys know that I'm obsessed with Japanese eyeliners for some reason. Um, I'm just more um, into Japanese eyeliner just because it doesn't smudge on my oily lids. So I did a video of some of the um, top eyeliners that doesn't smudge on oily lids. So if you guys haven't watched that, I'll put a link somewhere up here. But some of the products that I mentioned in that video are in this box. So I guess let's get started first. So the first on my list is this Kiss Me Heroin Make um, eyeliner. I think that's what it's called, but that's basically it. So I've been loving this eyeliner for a long time. So this is a pen liner. So I bought with me two here. One is a brown one and one is a black one. I usually alternate my eyeliner on these two shades. But yes, this is definitely a staple on my makeup stash. And I usually hoard them just because they're so good and they don't smudge on my oily lids. So this is really a perfect one. So another product here that I also hoarded is another eyeliner which is part of my um, top five eyeliner that does as much on lids that video I'll put a link up here uh, but it's this one day tattoo I don't know it's K palette so it's K palette one day tattoo eyeliner so I have three of them here um, and they are in different shades so one is um, deep black and one is uh, sorry not deep black that's deep brown and one is uh, brown black and one is super black so i usually use this because this really has a nice deep intense tone of eyeliner and it doesn't really smudge on my lid so it, this is really really good and i love the brush tip of this one so this is definitely highly recommended and as well as the kiss me i've always used this um and i've never really looked back so i just recently saw this in japan while i was shopping for some stuff and this is called love liner liquid so when i swatch this on my hand it's really really good it has that deep tones and it seems like it's a really good eyeliner um hopefully it doesn't smudge on my oily lids but knowing that it's from japan i don't think it will smudge that much so another one or the last one from the eyeliner stash that i bought um, is this DHP or sorry DUP D up I don't know how you guys pronounce this but this is an eyeliner as well but this one is not a liquid eyeliner this is um, a gel pen liner I've been using the kiss me um, hair and make um, gel pen liner quite often and also the Clio but I wanted to test this out and this is their um, super fit gel liner so this is a quite a popular brand they also have a liquid eyeliner but I didn't bought that but I I bought their gel liner instead so this is another one that i bought in japan so the next one that i hoarded when i was in japan are eyebrow pencils so i've been very loyal to etude house um eyebrow pencils just because they're just easy to use and i just love the shades and they're very cheap and most korean eyeline oh, not eyeliner korean eyebrow pencils are quite good to be honest but this time around i wanted to test out um some of the japanese brand and i actually got with me three here so the first one would be the one day tattoo so they have been quite popular with their eyebrow um pencils and I wanted to test this out myself because I love their eyeliner. I'm sure that this is going to be really good. So this one has the the pen, they have the brush, and they have the spoolie here. So um, I'm not sure if I'll be using this quite often, but I, it's just good that it has all three of it in one pen. So that's quite good. So I have this. And I also bought with me here this um, unknown brand. I don't know what brand this is. This is... Pico Monte. I don't know if that sounds familiar to you guys, but it says here that it's not made from Japan. It's made in Taiwan. So I just got this because it's quite cheap. 
it's like just 500 yen um, and I thought like eh, you know maybe I should just you know grab this and try this out because it's not really that it doesn't look bad so it seems like it's quite good so I'll try this out so this is a new one that I'm going to add into my makeup stash and another one here that I am testing out is a brand called Facio so this brand was introduced to me by one of the um, the skincare community uh, friend that I just met when I was in Tokyo and her name is Samantha if you are watching this thank you for introducing me to this brand but basically she introduced me to the mascara of Facio but then I decided that you know what maybe I should just try their eyebrow pencil because it looks interesting so I got this as well um, just to add into my you know my eyebrow stash just because I'm running out with uh, you know with some of them the third one that I bought in Japan is another makeup of course but these are mascaras so I just hoarded a few mascaras um, just because you most often you'll replace them quite easily um, because you should be throwing them after three to four months um, but yeah but to be honest I don't usually throw them out that quickly but I should do that religiously so I bought quite a few of them here and this two here is from Isihan Kiss Me brand. They're quite popular. A lot of the people from the skincare community um, have been recommending that I've try that I try their um, their mascara, um, but I haven't really tried them just because I have been using some of the Korean brands and some Western brands that I've been loving. But I thought that, you know, maybe this time I should try them out. So I bought this two. So I bought this one, which is a finer um, brush which is kind of perfect for your lower lash and this one here which is more of like a thicker uh, brush that really gives your lash that longer and fuller look so I'm trying this out hopefully it's going to be good I'm sure that it will be because I love their eyeliner it's usually that good and the next brand that I have here is the one that Samantha recommended me and this is Facio and this is something that um, I've heard a lot of you know people because when she recommended this to me I actually went and do some research and a lot of people said that it's actually quite good that's why I was really convinced that I should really try this and I was really hunting this down and found this in one of the uh, Don Quixote um, shops so I got this too I don't know what's the main difference of this two honestly one is a black tube and one is a white tube so I just got them in different brushes so this one has more of a big brush that creates more longer and fuller look of your lash and this one has a thinner brush which is good for your, your lower lash line or if you just want a very nice thin um, curled mascara look so basically I got this next one will be one of the stuff that I usually stock up on whenever I visit Japan it's one of the stuff that is quite good um, in J Beauty compared to K Beauty and these are sunscreens so I have talked about a lot of the J Beauty sunscreen in my sunscreen video I don't know if you guys have watched it but if you guys haven't I'll put a link somewhere up here but guys most of the um, sunscreen that I usually really really love is J Beauty or J Japanese sunscreen they're actually quite good and it's just not oily doesn't have a white cast it's very 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 light and very smooth on the skin so it just gives you that lightweight feeling so I bought with me three here I tried to control myself there's a lot of stuff there that I wanted to grab but I just controlled myself and grabbed three and the first one here is skin aqua so I've always wanted to try this I've been seeing this in yes style for a long time it's just that I have been postponing it for a while and I thought that you know what I should just grab it while I'm in Japan the next sunscreen would be this skin aqua as well and this is their tone up UV essence so I've always always wanted to try this because I've heard so many good reviews of this because not only does it um does it provide you with protection from the sun but it also kind of tones up your skin so if you have that you know very sallow skin tone use this purple one to kind of brighten up your skin they also have um a different like a, a green or a yellow version i can't remember but it's not very popular it's it has that yellow and green uh tube but what i got with me here is the pink to purple to blue tone just because i have that sallow skin tone and I need a like a purplish tone to kind of brighten up my skin so this is something that I've, I've always wanted to try so um, the last sunscreen that I um, bought with me here is a new 
sunscreen that was recommended to me by Samantha as well and this is Biore UV Athlism I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right but it says here that Athlism so I don't really know what's the main difference of this with the um, the Biore UV Essence the most common one basically that one is the one that I've always loved and I've always used and I don't have it with me I have the watery the aqua rich watery gel but what I was talking to you about is the essence type and I love that for a long time and that really really changed everything in terms of my sunscreen I'm not really entirely sure what's the main difference but I'm guessing that it's better I don't know but it has 50 plus PA quadruple plus which is good so um, hopefully this is going to be perfect I'm going to test this out very soon the next product here is a product that I usually stock up on whenever I'm in Japan and this is the cure natural aqua gel so um, I usually kind of alternate my exfoliating process or method depending on the situation of my skin if I have extremely rough skin I usually use a physical exfoliant such as you know this one but sometimes if it's just mildly rough then I use a chemical exfoliant but normally if I'm using a physical exfoliant I only use one product and this is the Cure Natural Aqua Gel it's a gel form that's water-based kind of um, you know it's not it doesn't have a lot of harsh ingredient ingredients it's very natural very mild on the skin and it mildly busts off all the dead skin cells on your skin so I really love this and my husband loves it too so whenever we get dry patches and a lot of you know a lot of dry skin on our face we usually go to this one and just mildly exfoliate our skin with this and our skin would be baby smooth right after so I highly recommend this it's a bit pricey but it's something that is worth purchasing and owning and you won't be using it every day so it kind of lasts you for a really long time so I usually stock up on this whenever I'm in Japan so the next one that I hoarded in Japan are cleansing oils so I've seen a lot of people um, have used this brand Softimo I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right but um, I've seen a lot of people raving about how good this cleansing oil is and how it really melts your eye makeup and your makeup easily um, and I thought you know what I should check this out I've always been using cleansing oils and then I suddenly changed into cleansing balm and I thought like you know maybe I should change it up a bit and go back to cleansing oil and I thought that you know what maybe I should try a Japanese brand this time around so I hoarded this one and these are two different versions and one is deep one which is the original one which a lot of people really love and rave about and this one is the speedy cleansing oil I don't really know what's the main difference but I'm guessing that it's going to be pretty much the same I've opened this when I was in Japan just because I forgot my cleansing balm and cleansing oil and you know what as soon as I use this it really does melt off my makeup easily so far when I use this for about like one week or one week and a half it has been really great and I must say that you know it's worth the hype so another cleansing oil that I bought which isn't really highly raved by a lot of people but when I was in Don Quixote I actually saw that a lot of people have been grabbing it and the tray has been half empty all the time so I thought like hmm there's a good reason why it's actually always half empty which means that a lot of people have been buying this so I grabbed this and I thought you know you know maybe I should try this as well and yeah so Biore is a good brand it's a good Japanese brand they're actually very well known for their cleansing oil their lip and eye remover and all of their cleansing um, cleansing product basically so I'm really curious to see whether this one is going to be great as well so the next product is something that I didn't personally bought myself but it was gifted to me by Samantha um, when we met up so basically she gifted me with a few of the Japanese goodies and she included this two product and this is the Senka Perfect Whip I'm sure that you guys might have seen this somewhere in the uh, World Wide Web I'm sure or in Instagram and it's quite popular and a lot of people usually hoard this whenever they go to Japan this is my first time trying this product and I'm really really excited because she really says that it's actually one of the great um, cleansing foam out there so um, she also gifted me this um, lathering net together with this product because apparently there's 
a right way of using this product so some of the people who have been using this might have just opened and used this directly and you know lather it on their face but apparently the best way or the right way to use this is use a lathering net and create a foam and use that foam and put that or lather that on your face so that actually is the right way of using this uh, perfect whip cleansing foam and I think it's actually pretty exciting you know it's something very different and I'm really really excited to try this out so this is one thing that you guys should check out and hoard whenever you're in Japan and if you have a chance find this in some like probably you can find this in Don Quixote as well or some Daiso uh, store that you guys could create a nice bubble or foam before using this next product here that I bought when I was in Japan is this lip and eye remover so I've always been very loyal to um, one Maybelline lip and eye remover just because it's cheap and the second one is um, Japanese lip and eye remover I mean it's there's nothing really special about it just really easily removes your eye makeup and usually I do a three-step cleansing routine I usually remove my eye makeup first before using a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm and then finish off with a cleansing product basically so that's how I usually do my cleansing routine and I have this to add to my stash just because I'm running out of them so I bought one which is a Biore and one is a by Festa which I keep on using and going back to so this is something that you guys should check out when you're in Japan here's another brand that Samantha included in her gift to me and this is their Kose um, make keep mist so this is basically a setting spray but also a mist as well and I've seen this in Don Quixote quite often and it's always um, out of stock or probably just one to few stocks left so it's very very popular in Japan and she gifted this to me for me to try and I'm really excited to try this out because I'm so into misting nowadays and when it's really hot you don't want your makeup to melt so I think this is a really good one to check out as well so this is from Kose and this is their Make Keep Mist so the next product here is another product that was recommended to me that I try but I've also seen some people um, use this as well and this is the Melano CC cream so I have really no idea what this was but I did some research before actually purchasing this and it's actually kind of like a vitamin C cream that really brightens your hyperpigmentation and some of the dark spots on your skin so honestly I haven't really looked into more details into this product but what I just know is that it's a cream that brightens your hyperpigmentation and some of your dark spots and I'm already sold because I'm really looking for a product that really fades away a lot of dark patches or your hyperpigmentation basically so a lot of people have been asking me that question and I thought that you know what maybe I should check this out to know whether this actually really works and the last product finally is this hair care product so this is another product that was recommended to me and this is the Shiseido Phenol Premium High Touch no sorry premium touch <laughs> hair mask so um, this is another product that's always been really popular for a lot of foreigners or tourists whenever they visit Japan so they always hoard this or this one the highly recommended product to me was this Shiseido one but I thought that you know what I should just buy this as well to try it out because it's just sitting beside it and I thought like you know Tubaki is a very well-known um, shampoo and conditioner brand and I thought that you know their hair mask might be quite good as well so I bought this too just because I've been experiencing a lot of dryness on my ends after I bleached my hair and did a balayage so it's really good to see but the hair ends is really really dry so I've been struggling combing my hair and I thought that you know what this might be a good addition to my hair care uh, stash so I got this as well so that's it guys those are all the stuff that I hoarded when I was in Japan and some of the products that I usually stock up on whenever I visit the country so if you guys are wondering where can you actually purchase all of these products well if you're visiting Japan you can actually just find that big yellow shop that has that penguin um, logo or penguin mascot or I don't know what you call it but it's called Don Quixote so it's a really big shop that has pretty much everything at a very cheap price and you can get tax refund as well so I've 
I actually just visited a lot of Don Quixote shops when I was there. It's scattered everywhere. It's in Shibuya, it's in Shinjuku, it's in pretty much everywhere you go. So um, you guys should check out that shop and I'm sure that you guys already know it. So if you guys have any questions for me for any of these products, as always, you guys could ask me down in the comment section below. And guys, hopefully I get to upload my next video very soon. Um, it's a really exciting time. It's a really exciting year. 2020 is something that I really look forward to. Hopefully you guys will still take, stay tuned to some of my content both in Instagram and YouTube. And guys, I will speak to you in the next one. Bye!